Hey everyone, it's Elias uh, with uh, RV Simple Life. Right there on the back of the truck you see a box and inside that box is our Max Air Fan cover. We're going to install that today um, on the fan on the very rear part of the RV. So let's get at it right now. everybody this is the way it comes uh, in the box just that's pretty simple really your max air fan and, uh, inside the bag here is your, your louver um, and then of course the hardware so let me get this all opened up and I'll show you all the different parts okay uh, this is the louver like I said uh, it goes on once you get this installed this is the back side right here you'll install that louver right here they're using these three clips right here and then the two on the end right here and right here and uh, if you haven't seen our other video of our install uh, for our first max air cover um, take a look at it i'm going to link it in the upper left hand corner here of your video uh, check that out uh, that one though is going to be different than this one because this one the fan uh, is not prepped uh, to receive uh, these here we're going to have to get actually into this hardware right here this hardware comes what it comes with is uh these different brackets right here as well as all the screws and these are the pins right here that will go through the brackets and then through this part right here so we're going to get all this uh disassembled here and then get it up on the roof and we're going to get started all right everybody i'm up on top of the roof now of the rv i got all my hardware right there also brought with me a drill it has 3 16 drill bit in it um, to be able to drill into the side of the uh, fan right there and then also i brought a nine millimeter wrench uh, to help me with the hardware also brought a knife to be able to help me get into the uh, older tube of silicone that i have right here this will be the last time i'll use it we have we have quite a bit in there actually still but i'm just going to really goop it up real good you can't you can't overdo it when you comes when it comes to these uh rv roofs you don't want any leaking also i have my max fan here cover and uh, as well as the louver now when i put this on here it'll be like that it'll be the opposite way obviously but uh you'll put this in and there's also a bug guard you can buy to put inside here just kind of goes and sits sets right in there and then you can put it up like that it'll kind of protect it more um, if you're worried about bugs getting in there because it's very easy for bugs to get in here um, but right now I'm not doing that so I won't be using that but we're gonna get started here with this install but just an idea a good idea to get everything you need before you get up on the roof that way you're not having to come up and down all the time uh, we're about 13 and a half feet up right here at our location and um, it's dangerous going up and down so please use caution be careful do it at your own risk but uh, it can be dangerous when you get up on top of your roof so let's get going with this install all right so i'm gonna line these up on this side here the best i can i didn't bring a marker or anything up here with me uh, mainly i'm just gonna try and stay away from this curve here because um when when you put on the hardware dump it out of the back here it's got this big washer that'll sit on the inside and I didn't want it sitting funny on like this I want it to sit as flat as I can so I'm gonna try and keep this kind of low as I can but not too low but really this lap sealant that you have here it keeps it off keeps it up here a little bit so that's good enough for me so we're gonna get these put on fairly pretty much like that should be fairly simple we're going to drill a hole right there and right here and then we're going to get the hardware put on the back and that should secure these uh, to the fan um, so let's get going with that
staple moment. Um, I'm, I put the cover on the back of it and I set it on like this and I realized that I did not measure those brackets before I put them on uh, to the actual fan and I give myself a thumbs down. Uh, I realized my big mistake right there. Sorry, and my name isn't Dum Dum. My name's Larry. No, your name Dum Dum. Oh, you in trouble, Dum Dum. It's so important that you do the measuring beforehand. Just put the old, put the uh, actual cover over the frame and be able to make a mark with a pen. Um, but that was my big mistake. I looked on the opposite side where I am right now and I realized that it was just off a little bit. It was not off very far and I thought, well, if I can adjust this back bracket a little bit, I can get that side to fit. At least I could get that to fit. And I was hoping that I would be able to get away with not having to drill back into the side of the fan uh, body itself. So I reposition the cover here over the fan and it looks like it needs a little more adjusting. Uh, I did adjust the back one and, uh, and I realized I can adjust the front one just a little bit and maybe I can squeeze this in without having to drill another hole. That's the last thing I wanted to do was drill another hole. And so I adjusted it and put it back on like this. And I realized that it's gonna fit. So I thought I better put these pins in right now so it doesn't go anywhere. I don't want it moving from this point uh, because once I get this side secured, I am gonna come on the other side, the side you're seeing, and be able to work on it from there. And I apologize for the sound. It was very windy that day. Um, so I, I thought I'd just do the voiceover so um, you can hear what's going on in my head, actually, what's going on. Um, I couldn't believe I did that. Um, it just, su just surprised me because I really planned things out really well. Um, and then when this happened, I just couldn't believe I did that. And so I'm, I'm trying to get the back one in. It is, it is just pinched a little bit. I mean, barely, very little bit. Um, if I was obviously doing it um, from the beginning, I, I would move that bracket a little bit. But since I had the hole already, I didn't want to move it. So I was able to get those two brackets in, those two clips in uh, to those brackets. Now I'm looking at this side, wondering, okay, what am I going to do? Um, and I realized that on both brackets, I can adjust it a little bit. The brackets do allow a small slot uh, to be able to move it left or right. And if I would have had it actually positioned in the wrong way, I would have had to drill a new hole. So on this third bracket here, I unscrew it and uh, just uh, loosen it up so I can um, adjust this bracket a little bit. And I, I think I pushed it back a little bit to see how it's going to fit. And then now the one bracket in the front there, the last one, you see what I need to do to it. I need to move it towards me a little bit. And so I'm going to loosen it up and hope it's just enough. And I am able to move it a little bit, but not much, not much. And I actually uh, was a little worried there that I'm at the reach roll that. Uh, but I said, let's, let's give it a try. And when I put it down, it lined up just enough right there, just enough to be able to, I knew I can get those pins in. Uh, although I do feel like that the cover is a little bit contorted. I mean, just a little bit, uh, just, you know, a little funny bend to it, um, but nothing structurally wrong, nothing, no, you know, no undue pressure on the hinges or anything like that. Um, so I thought, well, if I can get these in, I'm going to be, I'm going to be golden. I'm going to be done. And uh, hopefully the wife doesn't find out about it. And so I got the first pin in, no problem. Second one gave me a little bit of trouble. You see me wiggling around here just trying to get that, that last little bit piece in there. And finally, I realized that it's gonna make it and clip it up and give myself a thumbs up. I, I barely escaped this, this bad problem. So right here, I take a step back and I take a deep breath and I'm just so thankful that it all worked out because um, I'm pointing out here that the, the mistake I made that I did not mark those brackets. I should have marked them. I should have thought it out a little bit better but um, just thankfully, I was I, when I eyeballed it, I was able to get them close enough to where the actual uh, clips were on the cover. And uh, I actually became was very fortunate that this happened this way. So 
don't do not make the same mistake I did and just just kind of fl do it by the uh, flying by the seat of your pants. Measure it out and make sure you do it right. All right, so I'm gonna silicone it up right here, really good. Um, I just happen to have this in my tool bag, so I was very glad to have it. If you're at the store sometime and you can get a small item like this for a couple bucks, it's a good idea to have it. But I decide I'm gonna uh, silicone up really good on the outside um, and on the inside uh, of the fan cover here. Uh, just, just for safety's sake, you never can you know overdo it. Um, also, if the wife asks you, you know, did you do it real good? Uh, I'm gonna tell her I did it real good. She can actually look up in the bathroom and look up and see that I did it real good on the inside. And I've just got the cover back on here and it was a really good job finished up. So a really good job getting it done.